respond to housing. What's happening there? Fox News contributor Bob Massey is live with us from Foreclosure Central, which is Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, Bob. Good morning, Stuart. We heard today Realty Track, I think it was, saying that the mm -hmm. uh, number of foreclosures is down again. I think it's a monthly three and a half year low. But that's not good news, is it? Because that just spreads it out. They'll be foreclosing at some point in the future. Is that correct? Yeah, well, don't, yeah, don't forget, one of the reasons it slowed down is because of all the processing deficiencies that we found in the last year with robo-signing and other deficiencies, improper foreclosures, and so those numbers aren't really accurate. You know, one of the things, Stuart, that I really think we should address here, and I know we're a little short on time today because all the news, and that is the fact, let's look at some of the domino effect from this. Number one, you have people that are in default. You have people that aren't paying property taxes. You have people that basically aren't paying HOA dues, homeowner association dues. When you get into those type of things, what that means is for property taxes, it affects unemployment. For example, in Las Vegas, there's different cuts as a result of fire, firemen and policemen. Why? Because a county is not getting the amount of money they need from property taxes. These are things that need to be talked about more of how there is a direct relationship between the default in this country on homes and the unemployment issue in and of itself, well, okay. particularly when it comes to city, city workers. Would you just let the market crash? Withdraw all support yeah. of all kinds? Let this thing crash, see prices yes. go down, maybe another 20, yep. 20, whatever it is, crash yes. and form a new low. You would do that? Absolutely. I would absolutely let it go to ground zero so everybody knows where they stand. Because here's the problem, Stuart. Even today, people are reluctant to buy even today because they figure the homes are going to go down even more so in the next four or five yeah. years. So somebody's saying, well, why would I pay $150,000 for a home today that was $300,000 yeah. five years ago when it may be $100,000 in two years? Bob Massey. So it, it, they are there. I understand we have to go. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Bob, I'm terribly sorry. I hate to be rude. Don't worry even about that. On the strip no, in Las no, Vegas. That's TV. I'm very sorry. That's TV. All right. I, okay, I, I interrupt because I've got to bring you this. Uh, more on the anti